Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, what I'd like to do is show you guys how you can change to a new activity by clicking a button. It's a lot easier than you might think, so let's get started. Before I started recording, I created a new project and all we have is the main activity that Android Studio creates when you start up a new project. Now the very first thing that I'd like to do is come over to our resources folder, come down to values and strings, and within here I'd like to define a few strings so we can differentiate between the two activities. So right now we have hello world, but I'd like this to say activity one and then create another activity that says activity two. So we know that we actually changed to a new activity. To do that, you're just gonna use the string tag. We're gonna give it a name of activity one and then we'll just call it activity one. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing for activity two, but we're gonna change it from activity one to obviously activity two. So now that we have our two strings, we can come back to our XML file, click on this text view, and then come all the way over to this text slot right here. Instead of having this say, hello world, we're gonna reference our string resource and then click activity one, because right now we have activity one loaded up. Hit enter, and then this will change to activity one. So let's make this a little bit more readable. If we click it again, we can come all the way down to common attributes, and we're able to change a few things about it. To start off, I'd like to make it bold, and then we can increase the font size from 14 SP all the way up to 36. So now it's a little bit more readable. And then I'd also like to change the color from black to blue. Let's go with this blue right here. And then the next thing that we're gonna have to do is add in a button so we're able to swap over to activity two. So we can click this little button here and drag one in. We're gonna give it a few constraints to the left and right. Then we'll constrain it to the bottom and give it a constraint all the way up to our text view right here. And maybe we'll click this guy, bring him up a little bit. Cool. And then we're gonna come back over to our strings resource. And then instead of having this say button, we'll just have it say change activity. So again, we're gonna use our string tag, name it button. And then the text is just gonna be change activity. You can name it whatever you want, but this is what I'm gonna go with. Now, if we come back to our XML, click our button, go all the way over to text, and then reference our string resource and then come all the way down to button. And then this will change to change activity. All right, so it looks like we have our first activity all set up. Now what we have to do is create our second activity. To do that, come all the way over to the left-hand panel. And right now I have this values folder selected. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have this Java folder selected. Then we're gonna come up to the top left-hand corner, click file, new, and then come all the way down to activity. And then within here, we wanna create a new empty activity. So click that and we're gonna name it new activity. And then we'll come all the way down and click finish. All right, so now we have this new activity and we're gonna to wanna to do the same exact thing that we did to our activity main.xml file. We wanna add this little text view so we can differentiate between the two activities. To do that, we're gonna grab this text view, drag it in, add some constraints to the top, the bottom, left and right. And then remember, we already created a string within our strings resource folder, this guy right here. So we're gonna come back to our new activity.xml file, come over to text, and then we're gonna reference the string resource again. And then we're gonna click activity two, come all the way down to the attributes. And then we're gonna change the font size to 36, the color to let's give it red, and then we'll make it bold as well. So now this is what our second activity looks like, and this is what our first activity looks like. So now all we have to do is add some code into our mainactivity.java file so that when the user presses our button, it'll swap over to activity two, the new one that we just created. All we have to do now is link up the button that we created in our XML file. To do that, we're gonna reference the button class. We're gonna call it change activity button. And we're gonna set that equal to find view by ID. So this is gonna find the view that we added into our XML file. And we're gonna go r.id and now I'm not sure what we had as an ID for our button. So if we click it, come all the way over to our attributes panel, the very first slot will give us the ID of that view. So in our case, the ID is button, which is a default. So I'm just gonna keep it as that. So we go r.id.button, which will reference the button that we added in our XML file, and that statement. And now what we have to do is create an onclick listener for this button right here. To do that, we have to go change activity button dot set onclick listener. So what this does is it just listens for when the user presses the button. And then within the parentheses here, we're gonna go new view.onclickListener, this very first option right here. 
hit enter, and it's going to fill in a bunch of code for you. Now within here, this is the code that you want to be executed when the user actually presses the button. So I'm going to write a function that will be executed when the user presses the button. We're going to call it change activity and that. So now we have to create this function right here. We can come down here. We'll make it private void because we don't want to return anything. And then we'll just call it our change activity loop. And then within here, this is where we're going to actually add the code that swaps over to activity two. The way we go about doing that is by using the intent class. So we're going to reference that. We're going to call it intent. We're going to set that equal to a new intent. And within here, we're going to reference this instance of the class. And then we want to change over to new activity. So the way we go about doing that is by typing in new activity dot class and this statement. And then down here, all we have to do is use this little function here. It's called start activity. So we're just going to go with the first one. And then all we have to do is pass in our intent, which will flop over to new activity. And that should be all you need to swap over to the new activity that we created. So I'm going to come up to the top right hand corner, click this little play button and actually test to make sure that this actually works. All right. So the app finally loaded up and you can see we have our first activity right here. If we come down and click the change activity button, you'll see that it changes over to activity two. And we can go back to the first activity by clicking the back button here and we can keep going back and forth. All right, so that's it for this video. As always, if you guys have any questions or if you're just having trouble getting something to work, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.